Hi, this is Courtney Harris with the Harris Music School and today I want to talk to you briefly about cleaning your mouthpiece, your brass mouthpiece. Uh, whether you're a trumpet player, French horn player, uh, trombone player, or tuba player, the concept is the same. Um, first off, it doesn't matter how old your mouthpiece is or how new your mouthpiece is. Um, it can have a tendency to get gunk built up inside of the mouthpiece. Um, you may see little, uh, you can't really see here, but if you look in your, hold your mouthpiece up to the light and you see a little gunk build up on the side, um, it's probably time to clean your mouthpiece. And uh, notice I said time to clean your mouthpiece, not to buy a new one. Uh, misconception with some of my younger students is that uh, my mouthpiece is dirty or if they have an older mouthpiece that they inherited um, it's scratched up uh, or it's faded then it's time to get a new one well I don't recommend buying a new mouthpiece unless you can say yes to either of the following, following two statements you are unhappy with the way that the mouthpiece feels in your performance or it's not doing what you want to do or the second reason is you have a nick or some type of damage on the face of the rim the face of the rim meaning the part that sits on your armature um, if you have a, a scrape or a nick or a dash on the side that doesn't touch your armature then it'll be fine um, also the, a discol discolored mouthpiece like such as this trombone mouthpiece here um, it doesn't perfect. It doesn't affect the performance of the mouthpiece um, because it has a smooth rim, so you can still play your instrument with skill despite the way it looks. Um, there's nothing barring you from playing properly. Um, but back to the subject at hand of cleaning your mouthpiece, um, you can get this brush, which is a mouthpiece brush cleaner and you can, <clears throat> the way you use it is you insert it into the mouthpiece you see I have a little gunk in there so I'll just dig that out of the corner okay and you just simply take the brush insert it into the bottom of the mouthpiece and you turn it okay and I also do it from the other side just to get just to get uh, both sides well uh, blow it out now I would have um, soaked this in water as well. If you have an extremely dirty or filthy mouthpiece inside due to eating while you're playing or um, drinking carbonated beverages or what have you, um, those habits tend to make your instrument and your mouthpiece dirty more rapidly than you know maybe just drinking water while you're playing. Um, so anyhow, um, if you have, you can use warm soapy water to um, clean your mouth out and then scrub that while you're doing that um, and also I use the valve brush sometimes because uh, you know I just think it's more thorough it doesn't go as far into the mouthpiece but that's okay um, my mouthpieces usually aren't that dirty so I, you know unless I just hit the bottom end it, it, it's pretty it's pretty much good to go now, there's one other tech, uh, technique that I use to keep my mouthpiece pretty clean, and I'll say maybe every maybe every two months or so, I will just take my mouthpieces and put them in a small cooking pot uh, that you know you place on your stove, and I will boil them. I will cover them with water, and I'll boil them uh, for about two minutes or so, two or three minutes till the, the water is boiling and I see the, the water is starting to boil out before it actually um, gets to the bottom but it has had a, a minute or so to actually boil um, then I'll take it out and that really breaks up everything and then from that point I would just take a q-tip and insert it into the, the bottom just to get any any maybe something that didn't get broken up through the uh, boiling process and that's it 
Um, I've done that for years with my mouthpieces and they have all stood up to time, um, including the gold mouthpieces. Um, there has not been any discoloration through that process. Um, <clears throat> and my mouthpieces have been pretty sterile and clean. I don't have any type of buildup in, in them. So that is my um, discussion for cleaning mouthpieces. Also, if you if you don't have a brush, that's fine. As I said, if you would um, boil the mouthpieces for uh, about two minutes, that, that should be sufficient. You can adequately clean it with a uh, Q-tip because it, it has gotten warm and to the point hot where the gunk in there has, has broken down some and you can just go in there and simply wipe it out. But if you prefer not to do that, then you can just um, get you some warm soapy water and use your brush and have at it. All right, if you have any questions, please ask. I will get back to you as soon as possible. Again, this is Courtney Harris with the Harris Music School. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.